Well, Maria, fortunately here at El Capitan High School in Lakeside, not a lot of action, and that's good news. Volunteers tell us that everyone who made it their way down here to the evacuation point seeking shelter, well, the Red Cross managed to put them up in hotels. Now, we did manage to speak to one person, one man uh, specifically, who uh, was seeking shelter, was evacuated from his home, and he just hopes that he'll have a home to go back to when the fire is out. I just wanted to, to get over with, you know, I'm just waiting it out. Norman Priest can't wait for this nightmare to be over. He and hundreds of people in East County forced to evacuate because of the Valley Fire. His family is okay, but his home stays on his mind constantly. You know, I just want to, you know, make sure everything's okay. I know that it hasn't been touched yet, so but they keep saying that the fire could shift. First responders also making a shift in evacuation plans, moving the evacuation point from Joan McQueen Middle School in Alpine to Al Capitan High in Lakeside. First responders tell us about 1,400 people were told to evacuate. Good news, volunteers say everyone that needed shelter, the Red Cross has put them up in hotels. The Humane Society is also housing small pets on the school's campus, and large animals like livestock and horses are being kept at the Lakeside Rodeo. The challenges that we face is being able to make sure that we're reaching everybody in the affected areas. Firefighters are encouraging everyone in East County and other affected areas to sign up for important notifications by going on to alertsandiego.org. SDG&E also announced power was restored to dozens of customers in Descanso and Valley Center after power was turned off overnight for preventative measures. And it is good to know that evacuees are also being told to uh, evacuate at Still Canyon High School in Spring Valley. For now, we're live here in Lakeside. I'm Andrew Nomura, Fox 5 News.